how far are you? I want to watch, but I want to avoid spoilers. I would say I'm decently far in. I don't know if I'm close to the end, probably not, but I'm a decent chunk in, I would say. In the middle? Yeah, yeah, I would think so. Sorry, there's somebody working on something outside, so you're gonna hear a lot of knocking. So I need to get that head. Probably gonna go back to Green Path. Because I just so happened to explore up here. But yeah, we defeated one of the Dreamers. And then... Now there's like a infection going on in Crossroads. Apparently something about a seal that we're breaking. Because I, I think that's the helmet of the Hollow Knight. This is theory time, I'm just throwing things out there. That Hollow Knight, because because the Hollow Knight, we saw the statue in the City of Tears. And um, I the Hollow Knight, that's where the Hollow Knight is resting, or at least his dead body or whatever. And we're unlocking it so we can defeat him to stop the infection? That's my theory anyway. Could be totally off base. That's my theory. How much of that is right, I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Also, we got a... this cool thing. Yeah! Woo. This is still my favorite area in the game, I think. I just like lush green forests and stuff. And I love these cute little buggers. And I like the music. I just love everything about this area. How many times have I beaten the game? This is my first playthrough. Blind. And, uh, not to brag, but, uh... I beat the Mantis Lord's first try, yeah. And from henceforth, I asked to be referred to as Joe Bug the Respected. Stone Sanctuary. Hmm. Hello? Oh. My child, can you still see? Please don't hurt me. Can't sleep with your eyes open, little one. Can't dream if you're still breathing, little one. Precious children, you speak such loathsome things as you sleep. Your claws scratch and scrape. Precious children, a monster has come for us in the dark. Will you sing for me? All right. Ow. Ooh. This is unsettling. Okay, down there is a safe spot, it seems. Those ghosts are really going nuts now. Whew. One by one, their eyes close at last. I felt it, a warm stillness falling over us. I'm sorry I was frightened of you. You were always protecting us even when we couldn't see you. Take us there, please. A place where light cannot haunt us. A place where dreams, please. Hmm. So what I'm getting from these reoccurring things is that light is not good, apparently. Dark is the much preferred thing for these bugs. Either because they rot in the light, or I don't know, th those growth growths have something to do with light. Because there was that one crazy priest or shaman or whatever that was into the light. And uh, see how that worked out for him. Well, we kind of caused that to happen to him, but still. So down there is the Fog Canyon, which I still have not mapped. In before the chat's like, dream of. <laughs> dear, dear, I really must hold it together. Must appear calm, but this creature is just divine. Oh, does she want to eat me? <laughs> like everybody else? <gasps> Do you wear a lot of charms at once? It's a lot of fun, isn't it? Mixing and matching them to get the perfect combination. I don't know whether you've noticed, but some charms seem to like each other. Yes, hmm. When charms like each other, they shine even brighter and sing even more sweetly. Even more reason to try all sorts of fun and surprising combinations of charms. Mm. You show me whenever you have a new favorite, right? It's a bit of a sin to wear too many charms at once, isn't it? Sometimes less is more. Mm. 
Yes, you should try to cram on more charms than you can handle. The effect could be positively overwhelming. My dapper gadfly would care to know how charms are made. I don't often tell my customers what with the truth being a little morbid, but you're a sharp one, so you may have guessed already. Few ways a charm appear, but mainly from final wish, a dying bug's potent desire crystallize into these gorgeous, powerful trinkets. Now, don't go getting too sad. There are exceptions, of course, and really, it's quite beautiful. Makes them all the more precious. <laughs> Just think of all the little bug souls that went into creating your collection. It's like a crowd of strangers in your pouch, or purse, or whatever, wherever it is you keep them. It's rare enough that someone enters my store, but even rarer to meet one so striking. Ah, oh, you flatter me. Those impressive horns, that fierce weapon, that air of majesty. Oh, it's enough to make me swoon. Am I making a crap guide to DMing? No. Even though I confirmed uh, that I would do it in the Q&A, uh, because you asked, I'm uh, not going to do it anymore. I've decided uh, that I've canceled all three additional crap guide videos. We will now be doing a new series called uh, Joseph Eats a Sandwich. And uh, it will just be me making and eating various different types of sandwiches with different toppings. And I'm not going to do any commentary about how I'm making the sandwich or the philosophy behind it. I'm just, it's just going to be, be me making a sandwich. That's it. Like, so, so people are going to be like, what, I wonder what meat he's using. What, what, what kind of veggies? And I won't say anything. It'll be one of the most frustrating things to ever watch. I call it a let's cook. Or, or a let's make, I guess. Because you don't really cook a sandwich. And when you put- when you see me put jam on it, like make a jam sandwich, you can't tell what jam it is because most of the jam's colors look the same. And I won't- I won't say anything. Can you submit sandwich ideas? Yeah, but I'll ignore them. It'll be the, the most frustrating video series of all time. Large and well protected but slow and docile, the bugs of Hollow Nest used to force these creatures to carry around their carts and machines. Aww. Hollow Nest has a- has a dirty history, doesn't it? Seems. Not exactly the most prosperous, like, holy place, or noble place. Sandwich, so moist and delicious. Sandwich, I'm coming for your sandwich. Sandwich, sandwich, sandwich. Will the sandwich videos be recorded on a vertical phone camera? Yes. Not just any vertical phone, a vertical flip phone camera. All right, now I could at least buy the map. Oh no, he is here. Okay, sweet. Hello. Come to scale the mountain. I've heard of the summit way up there. Too far for me though, and I'm not really one for heights. Yes, finally. Hello? Okay, mini boss. Crystal Guardian. He's got lasers. Woo! Hello? Oh, okay, goodbye. New charm? Shopkeeper's key. Small brass key made in the likeness of a shopkeeper. Oh, that looks like Sly. Okay, sweet. I'm gonna give that to Sly then. Oh, Quirrell. Ah, quite a view, no? I'm not surprised you survived the trek through these shimmering caverns. There's an air of strength about you. I suspect it would be quite intimidating, if not for your small stature. Did it sadden you to see those miners below, still laboring at their endless task? Even overcome, strong purpose has been imprinted upon their husks. The crystal ore is said to contain a sort of energy. Not as powerful as the soul of the city dwellers harnessed, but far less lethal. Strange to know such an ancient facts. I wonder from where my knowledge comes. At this high vantage, I can just make it out. The light from the sad little town. I doubt its residents could even comprehend the scale of the world that surrounds them. So small, it seems. Hmm. I'm very interested in Quirrell's story. Seems to be some kind of like noble knight of sorts. Somebody mentioned that he had a comic of his his own. I'll have to look at that after I beat the game. Mm. Boss. Ooh. Mm. Crystal heart. Hold left trigger while on the ground or cling to a wall to concentrate the force. Release the button to blast forward and fly through the air. That's what I need. Oh yeah! Woo! <laughs> nice. Burr. Woo! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it just keeps going. It's super dash time! And... Brrr. God, all these power-ups make me feel so powerful. Ah! Good. Mush. Ooh. Ow. <laughs> Alright, new power time. Hamehameha! Wow, nice. Oh god, and I keep going. Uh. Ooh. 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 Alright, sweet. Oh. That's gonna slam right into the crystal. 
No, it's not. Okay, good. Zoom! Oh. Final boss is Morgana telling you to go to sleep. Ah, uh, perfect. I really appreciate the Victorian architecture, too. This is really nice. Ah! Oh, wow! Metroidvania level design! Yay! Hello, Elderbug. Ooh, this is new. What happened? To that sign's new. Where'd the Elderbug go? Huh. Oh. Oh, this is the thing that I did! Ah, look there. Something strange and sinister has suddenly appeared. Ah, it fills me with dread. I think at best I try to ignore it. Why must these grotesque str strangers intrude on our pe peaceful little home? Sometimes it feels like the whole world is conspiring to make me uncomfortable. <laughs> Aww. Ooh. It's, it's these things. A new land, different from the last. How many more will we see? The roads between are dark and long, but the master's light will always guide us. I love accordions. <laughs> ah! Oh, she's doing the anime. Oh! Did you call us? You called us and we came. We came. You don't look scared. Why did you call us? Ah, it doesn't matter. Don't tell me. We came and I smell something. Something deep below us. I want it. I want it. That smell. Ugh. You're hiding something very nice from me, aren't you? Shouldn't hide something so nice. Show me. Show me. Put it on quick. I have something. I don't know. I'm here for the circus. Ah! Oh, he's playing a little grub! Mm, you called. Speak to master. When flame burns bright inside one's mind, can he heed the call across lands and time? I wonder what she says. Shadow and fire will dance together so prettily, I think. Hello there. Oh, I've seen this guy before. This person. So it was you who called us. Well met, my friend. Well met. I am Grim, master of this troop. The lantern has been lit, and your summons heeded. A fine stage you choose. This kingdom followed by warm and root. Perfect earth upon which our ritual shall take place. And you, my friend, your own part is far from over. As the lantern flared, your roll was cast. A compact written in sacred fire. Eager we are to see your comments. But first, some illumination is required. Grim child. Across these lands, my kin now spread. Harvesting that essence particular to my breed. The flame and dream. Seek my kin. Claim their flame and return it to me. Together, marvels shall be achieved. But don't fret, small one. For this task, you won't travel alone. My child shall guide you to the flame and gather within itself that burning essence. Like you, the child plays key role in its task. Only with it, by your side with the flame, and my kin reveal themselves to you. Hmm. All right. Uh, I have something for you. What do you have there? Why, that's the key to my storeroom. I thought I'd lost it for good. Hmm? Did you find it in those old mines, perhaps? Very curious. I have no idea how it ended up in such a remote place. Very honest of you to return it to me. Yes, very kind. And now that I can open my old storeroom up, I can sell you some of the rare stock that's been gathering dust in there. These items might be little time worn, but they still retain their full market value. Very precious stuff. Take a look. What do you dream of? I'm glad I put down my weapon. This quiet life with Corny makes- Aw, Corny! Makes me a lot happier. It would be nice to stretch my legs again, though, sometime soon. She was a warrior once. Whoa! That's pretty cool. She looks it. Alright, here we go. Whee! Sweet. Ow. Oh, okay. Oh, God. Bench. What is this? Oh, hello. You look very similar to the other guy. Oh, Shale, that's uh, the master of the guy who taught us. A visitor. Why have you crept in here, little grub? Perhaps like me, you have a taste for discovering new things. I am Shale, and in a previous life I was a nail master. Yes, the only thing that drove me was becoming a stronger and honing my skills with a nail. I imagine it was my one calling in life, but that feeling faded over time. 
Now I seek a new calling, something that speaks to my soul and compels me forward. That is why I spend my time here, secluded, trying to master the art of creation. Painting, sculpting, these things bring a different kind of pleasure. Hmm. You don't seem very moved by what I've said. Uh, was it Shay or the nail master you were looking for? Did you come to learn a nail art? I'll teach you if you insist. Yeah, sure. Nice. We Okami now. Great Slash. Release the button without holding up or down to perform the Great Slash. So, my work, does it move you? The wielding of a nail, the wielding of a brush, these things are not so different. We cut into the world so that we can peer deeper inside. For now though, I have nothing more to teach you. The path forward, only you can see it. Good luck. My brother Oro, what drove you to hide away deep down in the very edge of that ash-swept grave? Was it pride or fear or shame? Perhaps you should lay down your nail if it haunts you so. Find a new calling that eases your soul. Hmm. That was always Mato's favorite. Mato! That was the guy. I must have made him ecstatic to have a pupil like you. He always wanted to pass down what he learned from to a new generation. He was not the most skilled pupil himself, but his enthusiasm and his kindness set him apart. I'm glad he achieved what he desired for so long, to be a teacher. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So then... Yeah, I see. I have a spare brushes and plenty of paint. Once you tie of that nail, feel free to join me in my art. Yeah, sure thing. Yeah, dude. Sweet. Oh, hello. Oh, it's Zote! I haven't seen you in a while. I'm sure you have everything under control. Man, look at you. You tell him, Zote. You get him. These spiders are just shaking in their boots. There you go, buddy. Oi! What are you doing, you clumsy little oaf? Swinging your rusty little nail around in the darkness. You almost stuck me, and if you had, it would have been the end of you. Trust me. I am Zot the Mighty, a knight of the great renown. My weapon, Life Enders, has struck down hundreds of foes. Be gone, or you will be next. Ah, good to see you too, man. Mm. I lost in these dark tunnels. I don't care. No, I won't lead you out. I know the way. <laughs> Due to my powerful memory. But I only travel alone. Be gone. <laughs> okay, boomer. <laughs> Uh, all right, well, we saved Zote. I think that's pretty worth it. But I'm sure he would have been able to get out of there by himself. Failed tramway. Everything everything in Deep Nest is gross. Looks like a broken down tram with seats and everything. That's, I like, I, I said before, I like the architecture of this place. It's cute that it's all made for like bugs and stuff. All these small tiny seats and tiny trains. Who's my favorite NPC in this game so far? Um, I really like Quirrell. I like Cornifer. I like, uh... I don't know, I like them all. I guess my favorite, if I had to pick one so far... Cloth. I want to see more of Cloth. She seems cool. And I look forward to dueling with her eventually. Have you considered releasing the paper minifigs of your D&D? Yes! I am... So, here's what's happening with that. Uh, I'm making more merch for the Redbubble, including a an entire sticker sheet that's gonna have all the classes on them. And I'm gonna make a second sticker sheet with all the races on them as well when I make Crap Guide to Races. That's why I took them down re uh, a long time ago because they were pretty r low resolution and not very high quality. I'm gonna be making high quality versions of them. Palace Grounds. Hmm. Hello. All right. Boss time. Hmm. Stop, stop it, stop, stop it, stop, stop, stop. You stop. Stop. Broken vessel. Ah, good. Ah. I panicked. Eesh. There you go. That's when I want to use that. Stop headbanging. Headbang. Slice, 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 slice. Okay, well, got up. Got it. Nice. Whee. This place is dreary. Hello. Oh, monarch wings. Press A. While in the air, flap the wings. Use these ethereal wings to sail above enemies and discover new paths. Yes! Double jump! Yeah! Oh my gosh, that looks so good! Oh, Hee! 
Wow, perfect. Okay, this will help me get some new areas as well. Oh, hello. Anyone? Ooh. Ah, okay. How is there stuff here? Oh, lost kin. Okay. Guess I can fight them again. Oh god. Keep cool. Keep cool. Didn't keep cool! <laughs> oh boy. Alright, let's try that again. these ads that are throwing me off. Alright, this is a bad run. Yep, that was a bad run. We, Yeah, the goop ghosts spend, blend into the background, and there's more of them. <sighs> you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna switch out my charms. That's what I'll do. First try! <laughs> okay... Whew. Alright then. Epic gamer moment. That was rough. Wow. I assume that was an optional boss. That was... The boss wasn't... It's just that... It's not that it was hard. Okay, it was hard. Yes, it was very fast. Oh, jeez. But like, the fact that he had so much health was an endurance test. Palace grounds. This is where the king is, I assume. Or was. Hidden station. Thank goodness. Hey, Stag, what's up? The past you ruled. It is not for the ghastly machine, the tram. I hope you're not thinking of riding on that grotesque contraption. The thought of mere machine could attempt what we Stags do. Foolish. Very foolish. <laughs> oh, he's getting jealous. Huh. I miss when they were called testificates. <laughs> 